Welcome back to Maker of Play. In today's video, we're using Fusion 360 and a CNC to make large letters out of corrugated plastic. These letters will be used in front of my child's elementary school to advertise different school events throughout the year. In the video, I will cover how I use Fusion 360 to model the letters and to generate the G code used by the CNC. Our elementary school PTA was looking to promote events throughout the school year. Large letters placed in front of the school seemed like a good way to go for visibility and wow factor. There are companies that provide this service by placing the letters in your yard for 24 hours and then removing them. However, our PTA had access to a large supply of corrugated plastic signs that could be upcycled for this project. And my wife knew she could talk me into taking on this project. It wasn't a hard sell as I knew I could get a new accessory for my CNC. I love projects that get me new tools. For this project, I purchased a drag knife from Donic Tools. A drag knife is just like an X-Acto knife or box cutter for your CNC. The drag knife gets its name from the fact that the blade is offset slightly from center so that as the CNC moves, the blade is dragged behind the tool shaft causing the blade to align in the same direction that the CNC is moving. Just as if you were making a cut with an X-Acto knife with your hand. The drag knife does a very good job of cutting the corrugated plastic and using the CNC to guide the knife makes for a very accurate cut, especially on curves of the letters, much better than what I could achieve cutting by hand. But the CNC has no clue what to cut until you tell it. And to tell the CNC what to cut, we must feed it G-code. G-code is a special programming language that is interpreted by CNC machines to create motion and other tasks. It provides the X and Y direction for the CNC to move. These X and Y directions, when done right, can draw all kinds of shapes. In our case, we wanted to draw letters. I am using Fusion 360 by Autodesk to generate the needed G-code for each of the letters that we want to cut. The first step was to select a font that matched the look we were wanting and to maximize the size of the letters. The sign boards that we are using are 18 by 24 inches. We chose to use the signs in portrait layout versus a landscape layout. We chose Beavis as our font as it made tall block letters. I have put a link to this font in the description below. In Fusion, I started by creating a model for each letter we needed. I started each model by creating a sketch and using the text tool to add the letter. As the saying goes, measure twice and cut once. This rule applies as well when using software in CNC. My first letter I made sure to select a font size that would produce a 24 inch tall letter to maximize our sign. But when I went back to create the rest of the letters, I mixed up the font size in the end my letters came out 22 inches tall. Oh well, they still turned out fine. Once I had the letter drawn in Fusion, I used the Extrude tool to make the letter into a 3D shape, which gave us the model we needed for the next step. My CNC does everything in millimeters, so in Fusion, when I model things, I use millimeters instead of inches just to keep things simple. Once I had my model, I switched to the CAM workspace in Fusion. The CAM workspace is where we create the G-code used by the CNC. My first step in the CAM workspace was to define a tool for the drag knife. When Fusion generates a G-code, it needs to know the dimensions of the router bit the CNC will be using to make the cuts. This allows Fusion to calculate the correct path based on the size of the bit, since the bit normally will be removing some amount of material. But the drag knife is not like other CNC bits, as it will be slicing through the material instead of spinning and routing out material. Fusion comes preloaded with many bits and cutters for the CNC, but a drag knife is not one of them. I had to create a custom tool for the drag knife. I selected the tool type of flat end mill and entered a diameter of one millimeter and a body length of 14 millimeters. This was good enough for my needs. Once I have my tool created and selected, I created a new 2D contour path and selected the outline of the letter model as the contour for the geometry. On the passes tab, I made sure there was only one pass for this cut. I also made sure the outer corner mode was set to roll around corner. We do not want the CNC lifting the blade when cutting the corners. On the linking tab, I set an entry position to start on a straight edge of the letter so that I knew exactly which direction the drag knife would need to point at the beginning of each cut, as I would need to manually point the blade in the correct direction at the beginning of each cut. For each letter that we needed, I did the same steps to model the letter and to create the 2D contour path to generate the G-code. Once I had all the G-code files for each letter, I placed them on a thumb drive and headed to the garage to start cutting letters. I will put a link in the video description below for all the G-code files that I generated in case you would like to use them. I have the 840 D-Series machine from Stepcraft. The 840 has a cutting area of 33 inches by 23 and a half inches. I have had this machine for about eight months. It came as a kit that you assemble yourself. I really enjoyed building it. 
Not only was it a fun kit to assemble, I really liked getting to understand how the machine was constructed and how each part worked. I have a list of project videos using the CNC that I'm working on. Make sure and subscribe if you don't want to miss those videos when I finish them. It's awesome that you are still watching the video at this point. Give me a thumbs up or leave a comment even if just to say that is an awesome S to encourage me to make more videos. Now to the cutting. We started by cutting an S as it seemed to be the most complex. On the screen of the laptop driving the CNC, you can see the current X and Y coordinate of the drag knife as well as a plot of the current cutting progress. I used a very slow feed rate to cut the letters, thus it took about three minutes to cut each. I feel the feed rate could have been increased, but I was in no hurry. The blade of the drag knife cuts so fine you can barely even see the cut line. This means very little material is lost during the cutting process. The letters stay snug in their sign, which provide a very satisfying feeling when you pop them out. Look how nice those curves are, and the letters look good too. See what I did there? There's no way I could cut that S by hand and have it come out anywhere near that good looking. Now that we had success with the S, it was time to cut the rest of the letters, including multiple copies of each. We had 43 more cuts to go. Next up was painting, and painting is not my thing. So this is where my part of the project was done and my wife took over. She went with seven colors to make the letters more festive and eye-catching. She started with acrylic hobby paint, but it was taking too many coats to cover up the old signs, and plus she realized that this paint might not hold up to weather very well, and thus would need to be sealed with something. So she switched to Rust-Oleum Indoor Outdoor Spray Paint. This paint has proven to hold up very well as it's been tested with all the rain we've had this fall. Overall, this project turned out very well. The letters have already been used for many events and seems they will last for many more to come. They have even worked well as photo backdrops for many school pictures. I hope you found this video useful. If you found it enjoyable and would like to see more like it, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you would like to show your support for my videos, press the thumbs up button or leave a comment just saying good job. You can also help by sharing my videos to create more awareness for my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Letters will be used in front of my child's elementary school. I'm trying not to read it.